Hello and welcome to a Dragon Pay Me tutorial. Now, um, I thought I'd do one final, final tutorial in Mac OS X 10.4 because today Leopard would, was um, the release date was released, which is the 26th of October. So I've pre ordered my copy just now and I thought let's say goodbye to OS 10.4 by doing one final tutorial um, and then we'll move on to Leopard which is Friday I think in fact what is it 26 yes Friday not this Friday but next Friday maybe I'll squeeze another one in I don't know but anyway okay so what I wanted to do was tell you hopefully it won't change leopard because that will be a waste of time how to like erase a rewritable DVD um, because the other day, well, I, in fact, if you can see, I've got DVD 2, DVD 3, DVD 4, DVD 5. I didn't want to waste five DVDs, so I, um, I actually got a rewritable DVD. So I'm just going to shove this re rewritable DVD in the drive now, and I'm going to show you. Like, I'm going to burn DVD 5, which is a like a short film or clip I'm making for university. I'll show you what it is. It's quickly, like, fly through space. And then a little bit of a fight with this guy here and then fly back out of space and blow up the world you know like I want to show you the frame because I love it anyway that might go on YouTube later this month but oh put me DVD in and it's playing away up oh, uh, quit okay I don't want this information on my DVD at all look it's got contents but it's a rewritable DVD so how do I erase it uh, right click uh, drag to no, I can't drag it to the trash. Um, oh, I'm getting errors all over the place. Right click, delete, I don't know, press the delete, nothing. No, you can't erase, like on Windows XP, um, I know that if you put a rewritable... Sorry, that was my phone. If you put a rewritable DVD in the drive, you'll have like a window and up in the top right, you click erase this rewritable DVD or whatever. But on um, Mac, it's completely different. You go to your disk utility which is here, click, and in the disk utility is where you would remove the stuff from your optical drive or your CD. So you go all down your list of drives. So I've got this, I wanna go at the top layer, and then you can see you've got your tabs, partition, restore, first aid, erase, erase. Click the erase button and it does a little line, your CD disappears off the desktop, and well, you, you erase and preparing to erase optical media. So it's erasing all the stuff, and um, I shouldn't be playing the DVD like it did before. Does that make sense? Yep, hopefully. If not, um, sorry. So it's erasing the optical drive at the moment. Because you see, um, if you're like me and you want to preview like your work so far on a television rather than just on the computer, um, you kind of want to put it to a DVD, put it in a DVD player, but this is going to be like a waste of DVDs, unless of course you want to keep them for some kind of project file or whatever. But anyway, um, okay, it's done. You insert a blank DVD, you'll get this when it's done. Ignore, and I can close the disk utility, and your CD should appear on the desktop. I say it should, but um, I think it should have been on the desktop by now. Uh, nothing. Maybe it was because I pressed ignore. <laughs> Silly me. Maybe, yeah, I think it is because I pressed ignore, you know. Reject. I'm going to put it in again, see what happens. But basically, that's it. You go through the disk utility to um, to erase your optical drives, your CDs, etc. And then you can open out, up your, your DVD burner or whatever, and it'll recognize it as a blank DVD rather than a DVD that was just being used, you know. So... Um, I mean, I, I like to use Toast, if you never see my tutorial on what I use. Um, Toast, Titanium is what I use to burn video files to DVD. It encodes them quite quickly, okay, instead of ignore this time. Um, video, drop video in, press go. And that, voila, that's it really. Um, hope you've learned something. Um, if you have any questions about it, please leave a comment below. Um, eject. There we go. If you have any questions about uh, my tutorial, please leave a comment below. Uh, I do apologise if I've gone too quick or if I could have elaborated a little bit more on some of the things I came across. But to be honest, that never crossed my mind. Um, hopefully, um, the, the crossover to Leopard will be good. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry this was a pretty naff tutorial because, to be honest, 
uh, if I'm honest, I've, I'm like out of the swing of tutorials. I mean, if uh, to some of my subscribers, you'll know that I did like sometimes like one tutorial a day. Um, well, at the peak time, but now uh, I haven't done a tutorial in a while, and I'm sorry I'm out of the swing. But here's one anyway. Hopefully you liked it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on a Dragon Pay Me video or tutorial or whatever I do next. Um, thank you very much. I'll see you later. Goodbye.